Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today's video, I got something helpful, super awesome. It's gonna be amazing for you, for Team Affinity 4. The quickest, the most efficient, and the most profitable way to do these Team Affinity 4 Season 4 programs. Uh, collections, missions, conquest, the whole bit, the whole nine, packs upon packs upon packs, and all the Team Affinity 4 cards, which by the way, there's a lot of studs in there. Couple duds, a lot of studs. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to your Team Affinity 4 page. How do you find that, Buck? You skipped ahead of me. Well, you go to Programs, Team Affinity, bam, Team Affinity 4. So let's start in the ALE. So as you can see, I have all of them at 46%. And you're probably like, Buck, how are you halfway done already when we're just starting the video? Well, because I did these yesterday when I was streaming on Twitch. And how you get to 46%, you may ask? Well, you go down here to exchanges. You do all four exchanges, right? Simple, easy peasy. If you listen to me, you bought the silvers and all the other cards for the past week and a half, super cheap. So you have enough to do the exchanges, right? Right. So do your exchanges, then you come here to your collection and you'll wanna collect 40 of the flashbacks and legends. Now, I recommend you go through here and find the ones that already say no sell on them. That means you've collected them for other programs already. So go ahead and collect them. And then you always wanna to try to leave the ones that don't say no sell. If you don't need to lock them in, don't lock them in because you could eventually sell them if you don't need them, but you're probably gonna need them anyways. But just to be safe, then sorry, just do the ones that say no sell first before you lock them in. So you lock in 40 of these bad boys, and there you are. You're at 46% or 70 points of the 150 you need. So we need 80 more points. How are we going to get those points? All right, so we're going to go into missions. There's repeatable offline missions. First, there's plate appearances with Orioles, Red Sox, Yankees, Rays, Blue Jays players. That's online, we wanna skip that. You want the offline ones only. So 20 total bases with flashbacks and legends from these teams. Strikeouts with flashbacks and legends from these teams. And then if you, at, you're at this point, you've already unlocked one of these cards. So whichever one you picked, make sure you have their mission written down. If it's Rushman, he needs five extra base hits. Boggs, 12 total bases. Mantle, three home runs. Price needs 10 strikeouts. Oluru needs eight hits. So if you have one of the hitters, Make sure they're batting first in your lineup so they get the most at bats. And if you have price, which if you took price first, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. But if you did, you can go ahead and put him in your starting pitching rotation and pitch him in Conquest. Yes, we're going to be going into Conquest. So what you want to do is you want to load up your lineup. We'll start in the AL East, back, back out, and you want to load up your lineup. So you want to use AL East legends and flashbacks and whatever card you took first i took mickey mantle so mantle's going in my lineup automatically i'm gonna throw reggie jackson out there all right so my lineup looks like this we got poppy brian roberts ripkin brooks robinson Shea, uh sean green mickey mantle reggie jackson jorge posada we even filled up the bench with some bats just in case we need them and pitching is the same thing you're going to want to load up with those pitchers from the nl or the al east make sure you have a couple relievers too but they're three inning games so it doesn't really matter as long as you have the five starter spots filled in that's all that really matters so then you want to go to single player modes conquest and you want to choose east affinity because we're using al east players right now and you'll want to take off and start doing conquest just like you always do it and every 15 strikeouts so you want 15 strikeouts 20 total bases and every 100 plate appearances is 10 points five points five points and then of course we took mantle so when he gets his three home runs that's five points so this is the quickest most efficient way plus you get packs from team affinity you get packs from conquest save up all those packs and have just one ginormous blowout at the end of all this that's the, the route i'm choosing it's the quickest way it's the most profitable way so that's the way i'm going to be doing my team affinity four grinds so now that we got the formula down for what way to grind these the quickest and most efficient let's look at the rewards so every uh, affinity uh, timeline east west central AL NL is going to have the same rewards just for their division. So you have unlockables AL East. What are these? These are the choice packs, which by the way, 
there's only four for the uh, there's only four of them and i don't understand some stuff's borked i think because i got doubles yesterday of like nl west and then not enough of other ones i don't know it was super weird but hopefully it all pans out you also get the uniforms now here's where the heat comes in in this program in my opinion all the uniforms are straight heat let's look at the al east the browns which is the orioles home super cool red sox e yankees i like the logo a little bit it's pretty cool but these right here these last two straight fire tampa bay rays toronto blue jays baby blues Ooh, love it then you get a team affinity pack you get another uniform pack you get a ball and pack another uniform three team affinity packs uh another unlockable 1500 stubs three of the al east bronze and silvers now if you don't have enough exchange cards these will help in getting those five team affinity packs and then you get your first legend there we went over these adley rushman wade boggs absolute beast they gave him his 80 power 85 and 82 this is my third baseman baby can't wait mickey mantle a god we already saw the stats david price <laughs> and john olerud they dicked him on his left-handed power a little bit i think he only got 75 but if you parallel him he gets that 80 mark but as we learned this year 80 doesn't necessarily mean perfect perfect home run when you hit it like they said right okay but anyways this is still be a fun card to use then you get two headliner packs 2500 stubs see we're racking up stubs in this program you get another card you get five ball and packs another card 5000 stubs another card home run derby choice pack so if you're still looking for any of these cards you know you you got another chance to get them and if you got them all well guess what it's more stubs and then you get the final card right here now let's take a look at the other uniforms and things from the other divisions al central uniforms white Sox, baby blues with the red i don't not like them they're pretty good the indians are straight fire detroit love them the dark uniforms the the gray on black hat with the white logo super clean and then you got another pair of baby blues the 70s royals the 70s twins both iconic uniforms eye candy baby i love all these uniforms i can't wait to have them all chat likes to pick my uniforms once a day when i'm playing mlb and i i love wearing all that's why i didn't make my own uniforms this year because they gave us all this great content of uniforms it's amazing all right next we'll look at the al west unis astros from the 80s straight fire straight fire with the different colored stripes angels from the 60s e A's, clean 70s unis, one of the best looking unis of all time. Mariners from the 80s, love it. Love the big Pitchfork M logo. It's pretty dope. And then the 70s Rangers, clean. I love the logo across the chest. I love the hat. Uh, th these uniforms are just so good. Now NL East and one of my three favorite uniforms right here. 1972 Atlanta Braves. Look how clean those are, man. Those are super, super nice uniforms. The Marlins look nice. They got the Marlin fish on them. Really clean 2003 uniforms. 1960s Mets. You know, they're iconic. These last two, I love. 70s Phillies powder blues. Just did it get, but look at the Phillies logo. I mean, does it get more iconic than the Phillies logo right there? Yeah, it might with the Expos logo. Check this out, man. 81 road unis from the Wash, uh, from the uh, Washington Nationals, AKA the Montreal Expos. Dude, these are dope. These are just straight fire SDS. Killed it on these uniforms. NL Central, you got the 80s Cubs. Iconic if you watch WGN back in the day like me. All we had was WGN and TBS to watch baseball. Cubs were on all the time. And you know these uniforms if you watched the Cubs back then. 1999 Red Junies. I can see Barry Larkin in these bad boys. It, I mean, these were the uniforms he wore. And I can, I can see it just like these Brewers uniforms right here. These 70s Pirates. The hat with the stripes. Man, this whole pack. The Central, NL Central has the best pack out of all of them, I think. Because every one of these uniforms is fire. And don't even get me started on the Cardinal Baby Blues. Ain't nothing better than the Cardinals. Bird on the bat, Baby Blues. Late 70s, early 80s. Just give them to me. Dude, these are the best. Last but not least, the NL West. And we got the iconic Diamondbacks unis from the early 2000s. Same thing with the Rockies. Both iconic. 
both great uniforms. The only one I don't like out of this pack is the Brooklyn Dodgers. I just don't like a lot of the older uniforms. I know it was a long time ago, but I don't know, man. There's just something gaudy about them. I don't know. I love the 80s Padres, the brown, the yellow, the orange. Same thing with these Giants uniforms from the 70s. Super bright, super clean, super crisp. Love all these uniforms, man. Also in the Team Infinity 4 content drop, we got this Nate Pearson. He's got outlier on his fastball. He's got 111 hits per nine, 107 Ks per nine. Don't get me started on hits per nine. He has better hits per nine than almost all the legends except for Bob Gibson. All the other legend pitchers that we got today, hits per nine, just straight trash. And tops now, I don't, no, but we're staying positive. Let's not get into that. Just. Nate Pearson, if you're an all-time Blue Jays fan or you're a collector of future stars, you're going to want this guy. He's got outlier. He'll cause people trouble, especially on Hall of Fame or higher. But unfortunately, he doesn't have the sinker or the cutter, both meta pitches. But maybe the slider and outlier is enough to get you through to some players. You know what I mean? But yeah, super nice. And then we got the alternate Brewers uniforms. I like those as well the glove on the hat with the baseball really really nice all right so that is the team affinity Four wrap up the quickest way to do it the most profitable way to do it the best way to do it the way i'm going to be doing it so you know it's the best way to do it otherwise i wouldn't have told you so get in there and get to grinding if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up i appreciate it very very much if you're not subscribed what the fuck are you doing hit the subscribe button you're this far into the video and you still aren't subscribed hit the subscribe button turn the notifications on i upload every day on youtube i try to get it out by nine o'clock central in the morning but some days like today it's a little later so please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so if you have any comments about the program or about the way i set up the grind of the program leave them in the comment section below we're always open to ideas and other thoughts from other people in the community so leave them in the comment section below and if you need more big old buck content i stream at twitch dot tv backslash big old buck the schedule's been changing around a little bit but hopefully starting this week it will be in concrete and we are just turn the notifications on over at twitch if you're not on twitch yet you can make an account over there for free you can hit the follow button on my channel it's free and come hang out with one of the best communities on twitch we have a lot of positivity we have a lot of fun we're playing a lot of 2k right now on the stream but we'll still be playing some mlb on the stream and mlb will be the only content on this channel so come by here every day if you need some mlb big old buck time until next time, you can catch me right here. Same buck time, same buck channel.